Sponsored by Ukrainian Credit Union. Believe it or not, it's Ron Kuhut with Stay Ukrainian, my friends. We're Cossack children of history. Well, we're at UNO. Like, where else would we be? And we're speaking with Professor Tak, Professor Andriy Nahachevsky, who's finished writing a book called Ukrainian Dance. And, I, and ironically, it's when you look through the book, it's about Ukrainian dance. Is that how you got the idea for the title? Yeah, I worked on it. For Did a you while. for a while? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, professor funny. of. I'm a professor of Ukrainian folklore at the University of Alberta. Wow, how long now you've been doing that? It's my 21st year, actually. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh gosh. It means we've known. Andrea and I met in a dancing group called uh, Ukrainian Festival Dance Company. Now, how long ago was that? That was early 80s. I, uh, 79, 80, 81. Those were the years. Wow. He, he was really young. You haven't changed at all, yeah. okay? Not a bit. You're a lot smarter. I'm still playing with Buria. So there you go. <laughs> That's what happens there. Book launch tonight, correct? That's right. When did That's the book right. come out? Uh, the book came out a couple of months ago now, and we're just really getting it, getting it out now. So really launching it just right now. Now, even, even back in 79, 80, your knowledge of of Ukrainian dance, etc., was quite extensive. Since then, you've traveled the world, I suppose. Huh? I have, yeah. I've done field work for Ukrainian dance in 12 different countries now. Uh, I've been to Ukraine you know, a dozen times, maybe 14, 15. Uh, and, uh, I, I guess Ukraine would be the country that would give you the most information. Well, actually, I probably know more about Canadian Ukrainian dance than I know about Ukrainian Ukrainian dance, but uh, they're related to each other. Oh, right? they're definitely related to each other. I always say when we I go out west, to me, from as an Eastern Ukrainian, Eastern Canadian Ukrainian, Western Canadian Ukrainian is really Ukrainian. Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's a whole it's different, but it's really, you know, maybe everywhere, but there for sure. And and dance has just, I mean, it's a it's 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 life there. Yeah, it's very important, very important. Did I hear something like it's the sports or something? It's activity, exercise. It's one of the top things. If it's not second, it's it's West. really important. I know in terms of. Uh, participation of Ukrainians. Uh, there are about 30, uh, about 3,000 Ukrainian dancers in Edmonton out of about 100,000 Ukrainians. That means 3% of every Ukrainian does staged folk dancing, which is probably higher than any city on the planet, including Kiev and Lviv and all this kind of thing. So don't tell me more Ukrainians folk dance than play soccer. Well, I don't know. I think Ukraine's got us there. Yeah, maybe. Uh. <laughs> and the book's been on again for, I'm sorry, for how long now? For a couple for of a months couple it's months? been out, yeah. How's yeah, it doing? It's doing okay. We're starting book launches now, so that's that's really important thing to do. I mean, the, the word will get out. And it, get this is the only one in this neck of the woods. You're, you did you do that's one right. in Hamilton or that's no? Right. No, we didn't do any other ones around here. We did one in Edmonton already, and this is actually the second one. Wonderful, wonderful. And then from here to where? Uh, from here, I go back home because tomorrow I've got a lecture at the University of Alberta. So that's got to work, huh? Pretty quick, yeah. I See, have that's to work. the you were telling me you're a Saskatoon boy. That's huh? right. Yeah, I've got three brothers there, and my mom. Saskatoon there. or Saskatchewan, or, or Saskatoon? Right in Saskatoon. Yeah. Cool. So who did you dance with there? I danced with Yovshan back in the day. I was the artistic director for a couple years in the late '70s. Before, yeah. what's his name? Sorokutyan. So, uh, Sorokutyan. Yeah, yeah. He's been there for a long time now too. Yeah, and then the other group is uh, is uh, Pavlochenko, and that's Serhi Korolyuk, right? Serhi Korolyuk, that's right. So the guys yeah. from Ukraine have taken over a lot of the. Big yeah, how do you feel about that? Oh, it's a different world, you know. It's they've brought in many new things, new repertoire, new steps, new abilities. Yeah, but the one thing they don't bring in is live music. That's right. They don't bring in Ron Kahoot near Well, no. Th thank you for <laughs> what. Yeah, you know, this is just, no, no, no. It's just not me. But I mean, thank God, Jeans wasdetsky has got a full-time day gig because he'd be out of work too. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I mean, you know, Gene and I have spoken of this about this a lot, and they seem to bring in and they love their, you know, Volin State with the big choirs and that. And yeah, yeah. I, I was asked to put that together for someone here, and I said it's going to be impossible. But it's too costly. It's just too costly to rehearse the choirs. Fine. You know? But what it has, it has become plausible to actually go to Ukraine and record it and get a lot of great performers. But then you're sitting with Can Music. But that's yeah. kind of the way that's Which the they'd come here and record it and then sit with Can Music. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. You know, we did, we did hang on since, well, my family settled Manitoba. I just found that out. Oh, yeah. In 1897. Oh, yeah. And we've done okay. We've done okay with the music and the dance, and yeah, you know, you have. and 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 I think that maybe it's time it's time that we started to beat our chests a little yeah, bit, don't you yeah. think? One of the cool things about music and dance, but dance even more, is that it's changed so much since the 1897 time. So that's actually what the book is about a whole bunch. What is village dancing like? What is dancing at a wedding? Dancing at 
for some kind of uh, party in a traditional context, and then what happens when it comes onto the stage and becomes a symbol of Ukrainianness and becomes theater art. It's it, they're different different games, and and uh, that's what I explore about a whole bunch of the book. Now, is this a book? This isn't doctorate like a doctoral thesis. This is a book that you wrote aside from your. That's thesis, right. right. That's right. Yeah, my doctoral thesis was uh, a while ago as well, about yeah. 20 years, just yeah. before I started working, and that one was specifically on Kolomeka. I'll show a couple of examples of Kolomeka here a today. A doctoral thesis on Kolomeka. A doctoral thesis on Kolomeka on Kolomeka dancing. Is there that much to say, or did you just say that much? It was unfortunately it won, wins the prize still for the longest PhD at, in our department in the University of Alberta. It's like 750 pages. Okay, I got an academic question. When I defended my master's thesis, they knew something. How did, are there people that sitting, how do you defend something against guys that don't know a Kolomeka from a Foxtrot? Well, I, I think the, by the time you're doing a PhD, you should be the world's best expert on your particular narrow topic. But there are lots of people that are great experts on adjacent fields. So one person was an expert on notation, another one is an expert on uh, Ukrainian culture in general. And so different people coming from different angles. Oh, they gave me a run for the money. I had to know my stuff. Yeah. I hope so anyways. That's uh Well, that's a listen, I wish you all cool. the best and we're excited. Great. I'm going to call I'm going to call somebody over here right now because this is an equal Come on, come on, come on. Stefan Genek Berezovsky from Svetorlat. It's an equal opportunity. Stefan, this is Andrina Hachevsky. Okay, see, I'm doing the interview now for Svetorlat, but we're going to turn the camera over. You brought a camera this time. That's nice. Good for you. Good. Yes, you know, a couple more things like this, and you'll know what you're doing. All the best. Best of luck. And uh, stay Ukrainian, my friends. Sponsored by Ukrainian Credit Union. Believe it or not, it's Ron Kahoot with Stay Ukrainian, my friends. We're Cossack children of history.